Hey, what's up everybody? JRSPC here and we are on the road to Long Beach right now. Uh, on our way to the Long Beach Expo. So they have this show three times a year. I've talked about it on my video. This is where I go and drop off all of my cars for grading. Um, I have it Super Bowl weekend. Uh, I have it around June, well, in the middle of June-ish. And then usually uh, just after Labor Day in September. So uh, I got over a thousand cards with me to get graded. I also have some cards um, from subscribers who sent some stuff. Uh, like Urban Card Breaks, Big Mike, Levi, uh, Dan of Hard Art Cards, and let's see who else. I got some from a, a guy named Arthur out in New Jersey. And anyways, uh, this is a great show. It's, uh, it's actually the largest coin show in the entire country. Um, so it's pretty neat to see, you know, over a million bucks worth of gold sitting on a table. And it's, it's really neat to see guys, you know, writing checks literally for over a million bucks. Uh, and several of them I've seen. Uh, I've seen the same guy write like, like literally like over a dozen million plus checks in one day. He's a, he's a high end coin dealer. And obviously he, uh, he understands the fact that you have to spend money to make money. So anyways, um, uh, I'll do a lot of video of uh, a lot of the cool stuff that I see. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll take you for the ride. Okay guys, here we go. Alright, and right off the bat, I just got to deal with this commute here going into Salt Lake and then through Salt Lake and then on the way down to Provo. And once you get past Provo, it's pretty smooth sailing all the way to St. George. And then you got five minutes of traffic in St. George. And then you have uh, to Arizona, which is, a, which is a beautiful short drive. And then uh, after that, you got a nice easy couple hours to hit Vegas, or maybe an hour and a half. And then Vegas sucks for about 25 minutes. And then uh, after you get out of Vegas, it's pretty smooth all the way until you're about 10 miles away from Long Beach. And then uh, that last 10 miles could take forever, literally. Once you get that into the Los Angeles traffic, it's horrible. So, all right guys, stick around. All right guys, I made it through. Uh, South Salt Lake, which would be Provo, which is where uh, BYU plays, in case you're curious, uh, where their college is. Anyways, still in route, still uh, kind of in a little bit of crappy traffic, but not too bad. Uh, a couple more things about the show. Um, like you guys know, like I said, PSA is there. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, Heritage Auctions is there, and they do uh, live auctions uh, during the show. Um, what else? Memory Lane is there. Uh, they are taking consignments and buying stuff and showing off what's coming up in their um, next auction, along with Robert Edwards auction and a couple other companies. I can't remember uh, who they are though. But anyways, it's always a good show. There's always a lot to look at. Oh, and there's also usually um, some kind of a huge, awesome display. Uh, one year was like the largest gold, private gold collection in the world. Uh, they wouldn't even tell me, obviously it was private, so they wouldn't tell you who, who owned it. And another year, there was one of the most extensive collections of uh, tobacco cards, and they had uh, original packs that still had like, you know, cigarette cards in them, whether they be T206 or uh, T205s or W whatever, E's whatever, you know, um, variety, all the different varieties of different um, tobacco cards. Uh, so, anyways, uh, and they also had a Honus Wagner, and they had the very rare uh, Ty Cobb back uh, Cobb portrait, uh, among other stuff. So, uh, hopefully they'll have a cool display there this year, and I'll show you guys later. Okay, back on the road. Bye. Yeah, so this is the scenery essentially for the next several hours. I'm gonna hit St. George. It'll be a little bit <clears throat> to look at for a minute. And then it'll be, well, it, 
some beautiful uh, rocks and mountains in Arizona. So uh, I'll do some videos there, but I have this to look at for at least the next three hours. No, actually probably closer to four hours. So wish me luck. Don't fall asleep while I'm driving because it's so boring. Hey. Hey. Gotta have uh, some good crunchy road food to keep me going. If I'm eating something, I stay awake and alert. Sunflower seeds are like my best friend on long road trips. Anyways, just want to give an update. About 40 miles from the border of Arizona. Cruising right along. It's uh, 96 degrees right now. And my air conditioning doesn't work in my car anymore. So it's going to probably be 20 degrees hotter when I hit uh, the Mojave Desert. Uh, last time I came down this time of year, it was 116. So, what are you going to do? You can't take the heat. Get out of the kitchen. That's right. Okay. Where's the 95, uh, 96? now take that 104 I gotta go pee pee yeah you know me I gotta go pee pee yeah you know me I gotta go pee pee yeah you know me no seriously I'm gonna pull over because I have to go pee okay are we there yet 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 all right everybody we made it finally made it to Long Beach and they have the stupid construction that's been going on for like years here down by the naval yard and you keep getting detoured and it's a horrible miserable mess uh, and so anyways I probably drove 20 miles farther than I had to up a road and back you know by the naval yard where all the shipping containers come in but this is Long Beach this is essentially right about where I stay the convention center is right around here somewhere. It's, uh, it's, 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 I believe, let's see here. Let's see where I'm at. It's up here on the right, I believe, but I can't tell. I came in a different way. Uh, I think it's right over this in this direction, though. But anyway, it's going to get the hotel now. Going to sleep, and I only stay about uh, two and a half blocks away from the the show, so I just walk. But anyways, we're here. What's up, everybody? We have arrived. We are in Long Beach. There's a street. There's a street. There's a fancy Weston hotel. Anyways, we're at the expo. About to head into the convention center. Come along for the ride.
Got to grab our swag here. This usually comes with the new SMR. How you guys doing? Good, good. Lonnie Ramirez, please report to the info booth. Lonnie Ramirez, please report to the info booth. Here's their info if you guys want to check them out. Super sports cards and coins. from uh, out of Vancouver Washington have a sports card uh, shop up there and just came down to do the Long Beach show here first time down oh, here so I was gonna say never seen been, you before uh, it's been pretty <laughs> impressive uh, it's quite a room full of room full of amazing items and it's a so. slow day too so yeah <laughs> do your buy-in today and uh, and uh, tomorrow I'll get a little bit busier so and then Saturday the very first part of the day is as busy then everybody's out of here so yeah <laughs> cool well, guys we're looking forward to that <laughs> Alrighty, thanks. Yeah. How you guys doing? So what are these exactly? Are these the print cells or art cells? These pictures? Yeah, uh, Sarah cells. These are pretty awesome. This one's pretty cool here, this risque lady. <laughs> All right guys, this is what I like to see when I come to a card show. A full display case with a price per card, 10 bucks a card. And you get lots of fun stuff in here for 10 bucks. There's a Dick Vitale autograph for 10 bucks. I think I'm gonna come back and buy that. Just because I like Dick Vitale. Take notes from these guys. Put prices on your stuff. Especially something like that where it's one price per card. Sure. Edwards auction. Hey man, I was gonna give you this. Yeah. I was sorry, I, I kept looking. No, 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 you no, took off cool. for a That's minute. Okay. That's but, my cell number, so okay, like, cool. if you if you have anything to sell and like you know, you wanna move some boxes, mm -hmm. I'm interested. Okay, cool. If you have any consignments, maybe okay. Consign. All right, here's Larry. Hey guys. Alright, tell us about your store and what you sell. Uh, you know what? I sell mostly vintage baseball, 
Uh, a lot of it is uh, 1933 Gaudi to, throughout the 70s. Uh, a lot of it's more higher end, seven, eights, and nines, but definitely have the low end stuff if you're trying to complete a set or if you're just looking for like an error card or, or any of the regional sets. Uh, I definitely like the oddball stuff as well. Cool, and you're out of North Hollywood? Yes. Cool. Look at a picture of your business card here. I appreciate it, man. I just sold uh, my, my whole collection of 33 Gaudis. I, got them all, I bought them nice. all raw through Huggins and Scott. Got them all graded. Nice. Sold them all on eBay. Very cool. Probably like 10 years later. <laughs> but I just had them in storage. Well, like, I'm glad you waited that 10 years. It did, yeah. It did, you know, it's, yeah. It, 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 it sometimes pays to progress. It, it does. I, <laughs> I, I, I bought them well and then uh, kept them. They were ungraded forever. And then I uh, got them graded and then dumped them all and then reinvested. And uh, like all my people that watch my videos, they know that I got more stuff than uh, probably than tops. <laughs> no, not really. But I, I have a lot of stuff. So Very cool, man. Yeah, that's just one of the things I found in storage, and I was like, oh, I remember buying these 10 years ago. That's pretty cool, 51 tops wrapper. I yeah, opened man. up some of those packs before, and they weren't fun to open. No, no, two, I wouldn't Two cards those. and not in good shape. No, no, so. one has a wax stain, one has a gum yeah. stain. It's just... I opened one, last one I opened was like 2004, and it was, uh, I was peer pressured. So, <laughs> the pack was only, I was only selling it for a hundred bucks. A guy peer pressured me when I was young and to open it, and then it was worth like 10 bucks. Oh. The two cards, because they come back ugly and it happens. wax stained, and, and they were commons. And also, I mean, the, there's so many cards in most of these sets that the, the odds of you pulling something good, mm -hmm. I mean, the odds are totally stacked against you. Especially in the 50 stuff, you get the penny packs and the nickel packs. Absolutely. You just don't get enough enough of the cards in them yeah i wouldn't open a penny pack but a nickel pack i mean if it looks good i definitely wouldn't open a penny pack yeah i mean you're, you're setting yourself up for failure you know? yeah yeah because it's going to be garbage I mean, it's like my garbage pail kids five cards one of them's got a wax stain and then the other one has a gum stain and you possibly two have gum stains <laughs> so i've opened up somewhere the gums bled through two cards that's right so that's the worst and you get yeah. you're, then you're guaranteed to get two cards that should be good but um, then you, they may not be centered or, or whatever, so. There's always those problems. But you know what, I always tell people, those imperfections are the reason why we have an industry and we have a business. And that's the reason because, why PSA yeah. 10s go for such good money. That's right, because even, like people pull uh, open uh, 70s or 60s wax boxes and they think they're gonna get perfect cards, but mm -hmm. oh, even, no way. Though, even back then, mm -hmm. if you bought packs, yeah. chances are 70% of them were miscut, it, yep. off center, oh, yeah. horrible know, print stain, bleeds. wax stain, print stains, yep. yeah, all and usually the cards are coming out in about at eight condition at, at best near mint to mint condition yeah absolutely so yeah I open up lots of uh, super sick 60s and 70s packs nice. and the cards are usually i mean sometimes you get lucky but you can sure. you can guarantee they're probably going to be at least eights and yep. then you know you're not going to hit the jackpot with any tens yep. so i've opened a bunch of 70s 71 72s and i've gone one nine the rest have been eights and far below yep yeah you know? i feel like all the good stuff is was like backdoor tops that was like at the end of the year sure. never went in packs never got beat up that's right vending that's right. boxes maybe vending yeah but then again yep. sometimes the vending they're all off center yeah you know yep. so you might get a whole bunch of you know whoever it is pete rose or whatever but every single part is miscut or off center yep you know yep. so yep. you never know man yeah i know i go through full sets and i'll pull out a couple cards that might get a 10 out of whole sets <laughs> so that's just how Crazy. it goes but all right, That's man. Is, man. All right, guys, let's go check out Dan Wolken with Memory Lane. There he is, Dan hey. Wolken. How you doing, guys? Want to promote your business? Sure. Memory Lane. Check us out, www.memorylaneinc.com. We do shows and we do uh, auctions quarterly. And uh, we're accepting assignments right now for our next auction, which is going to be November, December. And uh, you can also catch me on the show Pawn Stars. I'm the sports expert on the show. And if you have any questions on value, memorabilia, cards, anything like that, feel free to give us a call. We've got a toll-free number, 877-606-5263. Give us a call if you got any questions, again, or you need help getting stuff authenticated. We're there to help you. Okay. And, uh, here's a picture of the business card here, so you can take his information and pause the video there. And a fun fun uh, fact about me and Dan, we're both from the same area. Schenectady, New York, 12309. Yep, so we're both a couple of East Coast boys. And as you can see here, uh, Memory Lane has nothing but really nice high-end stuff. I sold, uh, 
I sold some stuff through memory lane and the auction did very well. Here's a little variety of what they've got. Yeah, me and Dan uh, lived in uh, Schenectady, or in the Schenectady area, roughly during the same time. And I forget what, uh, if there was like a significance with a sport or something. Uh, 53 tops mantle, PSA 9. Black Swamp Find, Honus Wagner. Some nice 32 US caramels, high grade. Over here we have some autograph canceled checks of Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz, Carlo Gambino of the Gambino crime family, the leader, uh, Clark Gable, Melvin Purvis, who was part of the FBI, who just actually got Dillinger, Babyface Nelson, and Pretty Boy Floyd. Um, Hoover didn't like him that much because he got a lot of press off of getting those guys. Muhammad Ali, Jane Mansfield, a very old 1930s autograph of John Wayne. That's sick. And Harlem Globetrotters, Metal Art Lemon. I met him back in the day. And uh, he was a really cool guy. Then we got some jerseys. Aaron Judge's double-A jersey. It's a home run jersey. Luis, Luis, Luis Severino. <laughs> Hopefully he picks it up a bit. Yeah, that's a minor league jersey too, right? Yeah, and then we have a couple of That's pretty cards. cool. Stan Laurie, our Laurel for Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Ingrid Bergman. Mm -hmm. I like these big cards. I haven't seen these before. Yeah, numbered out of 10 and numbered out of 49. Are those like case toppers? or? I think. I don't think they're, they're too, big for, too big for box toppers, but they're cool. Bought them on eBay. What is this right here? This letter. That's a letter. Musial? Signed George Musial? That would be Bob Musial. It wouldn't um, be him. General Custer. Yeah, yep. General Custer, holy crap. You can say that again. I would, but that would just be an annoying. Norman Rockwell, Frank Sinatra, Piazza. <laughs> cool. This is a letter by, handwritten by Amelia Earhart? Yeah, on four her four page letter handwritten by Amelia Earhart. On her letterhead. That's pretty sick. It says, it says 1731, but I'm guessing 1931? Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right, yeah, guys, check out Memory Lane. They're a good company with with real high end stuff, real nice stuff. I wouldn't say that there's a minimum on what they take, but I'm gonna say it's in the thousand range. <laughs> uh, sometimes in the hundred dollar range, we'll be there for anybody who's looking for help or looking to sell some stuff. Doesn't have to be real expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They can come to you and you guys will front them some money too on stuff that they'll consign. Yeah, on high end stuff, we give advances. Yeah, advances, yep. That's cool. Cool. All right, well, thank you, Dan. You got it. Thanks for having me. I'll go over here real quick and check out PSA's booth. This is where you go and submit all of your stuff. This is where I sit for hours a lot of times. And there's a line uh, for people who are waiting, but. Um, it's getting later in the day now. I've kind of done a little videoing here and there, but I, I didn't want to do it all at once. I wanted to kind of walk around and see everybody and then, uh, you know, get some okays to video their stuff and so on, so. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, back at the hotel. Uh, it's the morning of day two. Uh, I'm still filling out submission forms. I got a ton here. Um, <clears throat> I did a lot of submissions uh, forms before I even came down here, but uh, in the last little while I just kept finding more and more cards I wanted to get graded, so uh, I just, <laughs> it's a never ending battle. Um, I still have, uh, I don't even know, you can do 15 cards per form, unless uh, it's a quantity, then you can obviously do multiples per form and just put two or four or however many cards of that same card and then uh but i got like i probably got i'm gonna say at least probably 40 more submission forms to fill out and then i'll head back to the show or maybe i'll do some now come back and finish them tonight and tomorrow i'm going to submit everything to psa so anyways i hope you're enjoying the video i'm working hard uh 
as you hear, our subscriber cards here that I'm getting graded, and I'm just doing the form for those now. But uh, a couple cool ones here, like the couple uh, Heritage Update Action Variations. Those are pretty cool. Acuna and Bellinger. Uh, those are some, some cards from Dan. Hard R cards. These are here from Urban. Uh, Big Mike. A couple more here from Big Mike. All Levi's cards here. Uh, Ellie. These are my buddy Arthur out in uh, New Jersey. He's a police officer. Um, and then I have a ton more of my own stuff I gotta finish up. So, anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, day three of the show. Uh, looks like people are starting to pack up the coin dealers and stuff. Saturday's usually a short day, but we'll see what's left and we'll see what else we can buy. Oh, hey, I recognize these guys. Hey, JR, how are you, man? What's Good up, to man? See you. Hey, JR. <laughs> you too. We're at the show here. Hey. <laughs> Killing it at the show. <laughs> yeah. Having a good time. Cool. Get some cards for you. Hey, if you guys don't recognize these guys, it's George and Eric from Diamond Yard Sports Cards. Check out their channel. They got a fun one. <clears throat> they do a lot of uh, crack cards and uh, strip cards, and they resubmit and they get upgrades, and you can learn a lot from a these guys cards. too. Uh, yep. Yep. We submitted 100 card submission here. Um, JR, you're submitting how many? How many hundreds uh, of cards are you submitting? I think I'm in the 1,200 range. 1,200, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Yep, for Still today. The guy was filling out forms yesterday, the DSA booth over there, for like two hours, and he's only halfway done. It's the same guy? This, no, you, you oh. you're the guy. Oh, I had my forms filled out, and it took that long. Yeah. Still okay. taking two hours. Yeah, and now I got about 600 plus now, yeah. and so I'll get over there before they want to leave. And Last show I was here till 7.30. And they want you out by seven. Yeah. So they, they, they but they let me just keep out. going. But yeah. So. Awesome. Cool. All right, you guys, heading back. Yep. yep. Back, back to Phoenix. Phoenix. All picked right. Picked up some, uh, picked up a nice vintage card. I'm gonna do a video on a Ted Williams. So that'll be happening soon. Yeah. Check out their uh, PSA reveal too, guys. Uh, George always does a PSA reveal with Eric. So. Yeah. Good times. Awesome. All right, guys, have a safe Great trip back to Phoenix. Thank you. Later. All right. Here's one of my good buddies here. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing, JR? Good. Yeah, I'm just sitting here at the Long Beach Expo, Coin and Collectible Expo. Been going on for a long time here. I've been here myself 25 years in the same location. Um, I'm here buying and selling, primarily buying. I picked up some great items today. Let me show you a couple. This is a group of bats, game bats, game issue bats mm -hmm. from the uh, early 1960s Dodgers. So we got John there. Roseboro, Dick Gray, and uh, it looks like Steve Bilko. Steve Bilko, yeah. Okay, these are game issue. Not um, used though? Not. I would say that one of them shows minor use. Uh -huh. It would be this one. Mm -hmm. You can see the number. Yep. On the 11 on that one too. And then on the Bilko, the number is on the knob. Mm -hmm. But these serial numbers on the knob match up, so they're totally legit. Cool. I'll show you one other item. Just came across the table. Really neat. Beautiful golf flag from Trump. National oh, nice. Of course, signed by Orange Julius himself. Nice, Orange Julius. Okay, what I like That's to cool. call him. Um, but this is a great piece. Very yeah. unique. Um, and, uh, you know, an assortment of cards. I like to deal in really high end stuff. Um, I love investment grade uh, cards, memorabilia, photos. I'm a paper guy from way back. I've been in this my whole life. Uh, I was at the first national when I was 11 years old, LAX Marriott. Um, what can I tell you? I love what I do. Uh, anybody that has any questions uh, about what I do or maybe has something to sell, you can contact me through my website at andybuyscards.com. That's andybuyscards.com. Or give me a call, 805-657-0533. This is my good friend JR. Uh, we see each other on the road periodically. Sometimes we even room together. Uh, I love his enthusiasm. Uh, this guy beats the bushes. He tends to come up with stuff. Uh, and I enjoy having him around. He's a, a trusted friend and um, I would consider an advanced hobbyist. Well, thank you, sir. Let's take a look at some of your stuff you got here. Here's a nice Jeter rookie signature, PSA authenticated. PSA 1068, 
that's a pretty nice little run there I'll show you some uh, Andy's other stuff oh and if you want to He's got stuff going on eBay all the time. Uh, it's just Andy Maddock, right? Andy dot Maddock. I use my own name, Andy Maddock. One word, A-N-D-Y-M-A-D-E-C. Yep. And uh, once again, if you need to contact me, andybuyscards.com or 805-657-0533. Just Ronald Reagan autograph, some early type photos. Some super clean commons I'm probably gonna buy. Alright, let's look at what else Andy's got here. Come back to that one. Some fun stuff over here. High grade, look at that PSA 9 53 Bowman color or Bowman color mantle there. That's sick. Of course, that ore in an 8.5 is nice. Here's one of my favorites of all time. Pee Wee Reese 53 Bowman color and a PSA 9. 55 Ted Williams PSA 9 Rival All-Stars you guys saw I just sold that one in an auction at, at, with Dan at Hard R Cards 68 cello pack sorry about the glare there yeah if you like any of this stuff reach out to Andy or, or leave a message or a comment get a hold of me and I can make a deal happen for you guys This is pretty sweet here, the 27 Rinky Dink. Baseball Stars, complete set of 10. Yeah, Babe Ruth. Hornsby, Grover Cleveland, Walter Johnson. I'll let you guys read them so I can focus on the focus. Nice Cobb right there, Kelly, Bucky Harris, Eddie Collins, Herpin, uh, Pennick, Tris Speaker. Ted Williams, uh, check to the Jimmy Fund. There you go. It's a nice Jeter Murphy. I'm telling you guys, buy the Murphy in a ten now. It's gonna it's gonna go up big time. I guarantee it. Some other stuff Andy's got a lot of. Patsy Klein signed autograph. Old 50, 55 All American Bill Russell before NBA, before the Olympics in '56. These are all signed, all going to be PSA authenticated. He had a nice Keith Richards in here. These are type uh, early, early type photos. Type ones, type twos. These two you're looking at are type ones. Uh, here's a type one. These are probably type ones also. Dr. J back in the day. There's a cool Marciano. Cool old Marlon Brando. Couple Jordan type ones here. They're PSA graded and authenticated. All right, guys, that's Andy. And there's a sign. He's got all kinds of stuff back here too. That's not even out. There's another dealer. This guy's name is Bob. Too many Michael Kadire jerseys around anymore. <laughs> yeah, a dealer buddy of mine gave it to me because I'm a Mets fan. He was like, You want this? It's Kadire. And I was like, Yeah, I'll freaking take it. I go, I'll wear it. For, he's giving me for free. I go, I don't care if it's who's got on the back. He was only there for like, what, one year maybe? But yeah, end of his career, like usual. That's when the Mets get the guys. Yeah. The Yankees get them in the end, and then the guys all of a sudden go back to their prime. Right, the Mets get right. them in the end, and the yeah. guys are old. And Same thing for my Angels and Mets disease, you know? Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens, though. Story of my life. What are you going to do? Angels been banging her head against the wall for, <laughs> since their inception. Yep. They came in the same year, didn't they? 61, the Mets came in, right? Uh, uh, 62 was their, was their first technical season. And they drafted their number first first draft pick was Ed Cranepool, who's still a good signer through the mail. Yeah, he life, champion. Li lifelong Met. Mm -hmm. Stuff up there. 51 tops blue and red backs right here. 
Getting some early uh, penny packs football. Probably 50, probably 54. I'm, I would, I'm guessing 54, 55 Bowman right there. Pretty cool though. These are pretty impressive. The T201 uh, Mecha double folders. Very nice stuff. This is another guy I do a lot with. I've had dinner with down here um, almost every show. His name is John Roy. He's an old uh, old high school teacher. In fact, he was Andy's high school teacher who we just talked to a minute ago, Andy Maddock. What's up, John? Pose. <laughs> hey, I want to say hi to my uh, my subscribers. I'm gonna put this on YouTube and I just, oh, okay. I just bring them to the show and introduce dealers. I already told them your name, Johnny Roy, Johnny Wa, Johnny Wa. John <laughs> Roy. <laughs> yeah, I told them you're an old high school teacher and you're Andy's teacher. Mm -hmm. He's holding a 56 uh, tops mantle hostage from me. He won't let me add it to my my <laughs> run of them. Hostage. <laughs> yep. How's the show going for you? It's slow. Is it? It's good for me. I just come down here to get cards graded, so yeah. it's always yeah. the same for me. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> just kidding. Like, I'll tell you if it's a good show or a bad show when I get my cards back. <laughs> well, you don't have any expenses, but grading, so that's good. Yeah, yep. Yep. Well, cool, man. I always like Jean's setup here. He's got all everything organized in semi ridges so I can just buy them and then go take them over to PSA and get them graded. I don't got to worry about putting them in any, uh, any semi ridges or nothing. What's up, man? I'm back. Hey, how are you? Good. Getting here a little bit later today because I had to keep doing my submission forms for my last my last half of my cards. Yeah. Cool. Just tell them to open them here so you can see who they pull. You can no. See if they get that case it. I <laughs> know. I'm just kidding. Cool. I'll come back here and talk to you in a bit. Okay. Cool. Crazy. I'm back. I'm back on business. I gotta show a couple cool things here at the show. Don't take, don't take a picture of me because I'm not that cool. <laughs> you never know. I know there's some ladies out there like a good looking older man. <laughs> well you gotta yeah, have you got to have that equation right. <laughs> Old, the older part. Older part. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's, that's a lovely thing. I, I personally know that the PSA is... They're pretty cool. Some trout game used signed gloves. Jordan Upper Deck Authentic 8x10 signed. Arnold Palmer signed game used glove. Well, be a match used glove, I guess. Eddie Vedder. Woo! Some nice autos here. Michael Phelps. Sorry about that glare, guys.
These are nice, nice guys here. KDA brakes. KDA authentic. They got a lot of newer stuff, and not a lot of guys have a lot of newer stuff. There's a line for PSA today. Be honest. Here's Her <clears throat> Heritage Auction. Uh, is doing their auction out here today. Uh, looks like it's over, but uh, they had a big coin high-end auction all weekend long here. Underneath this tent, it's pretty freaking huge. One, two, four sections. One, two, three, four sections by four sections. So it's probably 15, 60 foot by 60 foot, I would say, square. There's Larry or Levon, who we met already. Big show, guys. The rest of this stuff's all coins over there. But thanks for coming along for the ride. I'm going to put my camera away for a minute and figure out what I'm going to do the rest of the show and try to buy some stuff. And then I'll show you guys what I buy at the end of the video if I buy anything. Okay. I'm an eyeball on that lot. It's probably about 1,200 cards there, and I'm strongly considering getting them and then having them basically all graded after I go through them and make sure that they're worth getting graded. But you see how cherry and creamy and sharp those freaking corners are. The only issue you really got to work with there or worry about is the uh, centering. So, but <clears throat> definitely see eight on top, if not better. Uh, so that might be something that we reveal later on if I can close the deal with Andy. So. All right, everybody, that's a wrap for the Long Beach show. As you can see, people have cleared out of here. Uh, there's the road down by where PSA was. I did a total of uh, about 1,300 cards graded. I'm one of the last guys out as usual because it takes so long to get your cards um, submitted, basically. I had all the films for, filled forms filled out um, yeah sorry tell it's been a long weekend I'm exhausted uh, anyways it still took about two and a half to three hours each day to submit cards so <sighs> what else can we say it was a good show I bought a couple things I'll show you guys here soon uh, when I get back home uh, thanks for coming along for the ride appreciate it uh, please uh, hit like Please subscribe and please share it with your friends. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye. All right, everybody. It's time for the post Long Beach reveal. What did I buy? So much fun stuff. Well, again, I was kind of cash poor because I spent so much money on grading fees. Uh, so I didn't get much, but I picked out. Um, basically, I got something for me. Uh, you know, it was tough to buy from the dealers because they kind of all wanted way too much for their stuff. So uh, I was able to get a couple things. Uh, for st first of all, uh, you've seen my friend Andy Maddock there. He's a very well-known dealer in the hobby and so on, and he's been for a very long time. He used to be a grader for PSA. Uh, he gave me this, just for free. And this is a, a super early vending box. Very cool. You know, it's not in gym mint condition, but I don't care. Says T. Will, maybe for Ted Williams, I'm guessing. There's the end of it. 
And uh, a lot of these were, um, I don't, I have, to do, I have to do some homework on this one right here. Uh, they had like, uh, I know that they used the same style just like they did in the 80s and stuff. This one says 65 exhibit, 63 flare. Uh, and I saw another one that said 58 on it, but that could have been just people putting it on, you know, writing it on there and using these things just to haul cards around or something like that. So I got to do some homework, find out what era they use these from, and uh, and and we'll let you guys know. So it says Hobby Cards, an educational hobby for boys and girls, 500 count vending pack, produced by world's largest publisher of picture cards. Okay, so that's really cool. Um... Let's see, I picked up some wax. Uh, I picked up a uh, uh, 79 Tops uh, Star Trek box. Uh, just because, um, you know, I got my super, super hoard of wax boxes. And that, that doesn't just uh, involve uh, sports cards. So this is pretty cool. It's from the motion picture movie. 79 Star Trek. You know, it's pretty cool. So I add that to the collection. I picked up this 1978 um, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Band box, 36 pound box, nice clean packs, pretty cool. Here's the back of one. Let's see. There's a better back. The one was kind of miswrapped, but. Uh, these, are all, these are all nice and clean and, and definitely un unsearched. Uh, nice roller marks, really good folds. Uh, once you open these things up, they kind of crack and you get a little bit of white. Um, and you can tell, like once you open these, you can tell that they've been opened and so on. But there, there's more to it than that. But anyways, uh, 78 tops. Lonely Heart Band, Sgt. Peppers, printed in... 1978 in America. All right, I got a couple, couple leaf boxes. Series one and series two, 1990. So we'll do a, we'll probably do a break on these. Uh, have some fun. Maybe we'll either sell a break to you guys, and I'll break them live on camera, or I'll just open them and get the cards graded. So those got the Thomas rookie, Sammy Sosa, Larry Walker, Dave Justice, whole nine yards. And then to round that out, I got these bad boys. And these are great. 1993 Upper Deck Series 2 with the Derek Jeter rookie. Uh, right now, a PSA 9 Jeter rookie, which if you guys watch my videos, you know I have a million of them because I get like 20 or 30 Jeter rookies graded every. Uh, every show um, and I have most of them always come back nines or tens so I have a lot but the nines are going for a hundred bucks now and the tens are going for three hundred bucks so this guy I bought these from had these and also series one and uh, you know you gotta worry about these things sticking really bad so I said hey man can I uh, check out your nice well the way the story went was I said I said, if I buy those, we throw in the 93 so I can open it and see if they stick or not, uh, the Series 1. And he says, well, I'll tell you what. He says, how about this? If you buy those, he goes, you can open up a pack of, this, of the Series 1, see if they stick, and then decide if you, want to, if you want the boxes or not. So I said, okay. So I opened up one of them. They weren't sticking. Uh, so I went ahead and bought these ones right here. We're going to open these live on camera, see how many Jeters we pull, and uh, get those graded. All right. And then I got this right here to add to my my collection of um, you know like I have like my uh, something that I kind of invented I call it a man China and it's the China hutch that you you kind of turn into like a man cave if you don't have a man cave then you just dress up a China hutch and I love the big slabbed PSA uh, cases I sold my Hank Aaron not too long ago and I wish I hadn't uh, but I bought this this is an old uh, team issue photo uh, early 60s, uh, maybe late 50s. Uh, I don't know the exact year of this one. A lot of years they made them, they're the same style, just with a different picture. So I haven't looked up this one to see which one it is. I just know, I know what era that they made them from. But here's this one. It's a really nice early Hank Aaron autograph. Nice and smooth auto. So that's pretty cool. 
All right, so that's a that's a pretty fun one right there. Oops, sorry about the focus there, guys. Okay. All right. Oops. You know what? I made a mistake. I I knew that this this was a Donruss box. I said tops. I don't know why I said tops. I knew it was Donruss, and I said tops. Anyways, all right. And here's the last thing I got. This I got for me. Uh, the Aaron I got for me also because I have a I got Mickey. Uh, a big Mickey postcard signed, beautiful sports impression. I have several uh, Joe DiMaggio signed Hall of Fame um, postcard sized pieces that are that are uh, encapsulated in the large encapsulation. Uh, Willie, and uh, so I'm working on getting all the best. And I like signed postcards and stuff like that. So and stuff that I can display. Uh, I do like signed cards too, obviously. But these ones I got just to be centerpieces in my uh, my china hutch. But this is this is the piece I bought for me, definitely for me. So this is a, a rookie photograph of Derek Jeter. If you can tell, it looks like it was taken in 95. Um, and it's got the rookie autograph, the rookie signature. It's a, well, that's an early signature of his. The rookie one has a little bit more of a of a point to the D and the and the J is very is different, but this is very early, anyways. Uh, and this one here has already been uh, authenticated by uh, PSA. I'm trying to trying to get it in here. Sorry, my tripod and stuff. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> anyways, here, let's do this right here. So you got the PSA DNA. You graded the signature a nine, eight by ten. It's all encapsulated in a, a thinner, thinner thing here. Um, and it looks like this is a 1994 photo, so it's a licensed photo too. 94 photo, so this is just before his um, his rookie uh, when he got called up to the big. So gosh, come on, sorry that focus sucks, but yeah, there it is, guys. There it is. That's the piece I got for me. It wasn't super cheap. I paid strong for it, uh, but that's okay because I'm gonna keep it. You gotta pay good for good stuff. So, all right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave some comments below. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, that way, I know if I should do any more uh, big card show videos. Uh, give me some constructive criticism if it was boring. Uh, if I spent too much time talking to people or looking at cards. If you don't want me to show cards. Maybe just show some uh, highlighted pieces, like some better stuff. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming along on the journey. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to do, uh, i got lots of breaks planned. All right, guys, take care.